Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Valenti and I'm the West Village Resident Gardener. Today we're at the gorgeous South Pavilion and I'm going to be talking to you about three ways that you can use Epsom salt in your garden. Now Epsom salt is generally used for tired and achy muscles in a bath, however, there are actually amazing uses for it in your garden or on your potted plants. Epsom salts are rich in magnesium and a lot of plants can actually be deficient in magnesium. So if you're worried about your plants and they're looking a bit orange or tired, give Epsom salts a go. Magnesium actually helps your plant absorb other nutrients. So if you are only adding Epsom salt and your plant is still suffering, you may need to look at other additives to make sure that your plant has a balanced and healthy lifestyle. So one of the ways you can use an Epsom salt spray is on your foliage, uh, particularly for tomatoes. If you're noticing that your tomato leaves are turning a bit orange, they may be deficient in magnesium. So add about per one tablespoon of Epsom salt to 3.5 litres of water, uh, and you have a great foliage spray for your herbs, vegetables, and other plants. Secondly, you can actually use this on indoor and outdoor plants, particularly trees and shrubs. They love Epsom salt, especially if they are magnesium deficient. Uh, if you have palms that you're noticing are starting to orange or frizzle at the top, you can add magnesium around the base of the palm and this should help them be able to absorb other nutrients that they're lacking in the soil. So any kind of potted plant, whether it's indoors or outdoors, will benefit from Epsom salts. You would literally just add two tablespoons of Epsom salt to about 3.5 litres of water and spray the mixture on the soil and the foliage. Epsom salts are fantastic for when you're transplanting plants. So if you are moving a plant from one area to the other and you're worried about it going into shock, Add one tablespoon of Epsom salt to the hole that you've dug into your garden and this should help your plant actually absorb nutrients faster, therefore root in its place much easier. If you have any plants that are struggling to bloom, Epsom salt is a great way to actually help them and assist them in getting the nutrients that they need. Uh, so if you've got orchids that are struggling to bloom or any other plant in your garden or potted plants in your house, make sure you add that foliage spray to your weekly watering routine and you should see blooms very soon. So I've only listed a select few of the ways that you can use Epsom salt in your garden. There are many other ways that you can use it. So get online, get researching and add Epsom salt into your weekly watering routine.